everybody, welcome to another recipe by Compadres. Uh, today we're going to make a very traditional, very regional recipe of codfish. Okay? This comes from the north part of Portugal, actually very near Spain, called Minho. The recipe is called Bacalhau a Minhota. So these are the ingredients we're going to use today. The codfish, obviously, the king of the dish. I'm going to use some potatoes, a little bit of vinegar, some bell peppers, onions and garlic, olive oil, olives, paprika powder, a very typical Portuguese seasoning, and a little bit of flour. And that's it. We're going to start with the onions. What we're going to do with the onions today, I'm just going to cut it in half and cut them in segments, very thin segments. Okay, after you cut the onions, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to your frying pan. Be generous with the olive oil. We're going to turn on the heat, medium heat, and we're going to add the onions already to the cold olive oil because we want to soften them. A little bit of salt, again just to release the moisture from the onions, they cook a little bit quicker. And while they are cooking, we're going to start on the bell pepper. Okay, so bell pepper, basically just cut it in segments. We're not going to use it all, we're going to need this whole bell pepper. Once we have the segments, we're going to start cutting them as thin as you can manage to make them. Okay, bell peppers go in. Let's give it a nice stir. Let them fry a little bit. And finally, the garlic. I'm just going to cut the garlic very small. I'm going to dice the garlic. Okay. And we're going to also add it in to our mixture of onions and bell peppers. Okay, after you add the garlic, give it a nice stir. Let it cook down a little bit again. I mean a medium heat. Just softening everything with a little bit of salt. And I'm going to add a little bit of vinegar. Not to pickle but to give a hint of bitterness because the bell peppers and the onions are very sweet so I'm just going to add roughly a tablespoon of vinegar I'm going to go for the potatoes, ok? I already peeled the potatoes what we need is to cut them in slices we're going to do some nice thick slices of potatoes we're going to fry this by the way so, right thickness, ok? Should be as a, should have a little bit of thickness because you don't want them to be too crisp. You want them to actually absorb a little bit of the sauce that is going to come out of this mixture here. After you cut the potatoes, we're going to reserve them a little bit in water, okay, to get rid of the starch, and we're going to drain them after. Okay, now we're going to go for our codfish. Okay, uh, this codfish already been soaked in water for 24 hours. Okay. It's salted codfish, as we normally use in Portuguese cuisine. Uh, what I have to do for this recipe, I actually have to dry it a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of paper, just add it to this dish. Put the codfish, a little bit of paper on top. Ok, so our vegetables actually have softened a little bit, as you might see. We want them softened like this. We're going to let them cook down for a little bit more in the medium, in a, in a minimal heat. Ok, so I'm just going to put it down. And we're going to take care of the codfish. So, I already uh, dried the codfish. Most of the humidity is off. Is off. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, continue that process a little bit. So, I'm going to put them in flour. But first, I'm just going to season it a little bit with black pepper. I'm seasoning it, uh, as you can see, uh, skin uh, with the skin down. We want to season the meat. The skin can actually be like this. Okay, and a little bit of paprika powder. Just a tiny bit on top. Just a little pinch. You can spread it out a little bit. There we go. And now, we're going to run it through the flour. 
Just a little bit, shake it off the excess flour. There we go. If you leave it too moist, the codfish, what's going to happen is that too much flour is going to get attached. And when you eat it, instead of being a light layer of flour, a little bit of crispiness, you actually have like lumps of flour, fried lumps of flour, like a dough, which is not pleasant, at least for this recipe. This is not codfish tempura, this is just light fried. Our oil is already uh, very hot. I'm going to take the codfish, okay. skin down, I'm going to gently add it to the hot oil and let it fry. It's good to hear this sound, this sizzling sound, okay. I'm using a small pan. If you're making more than this, we are making for two today. But if you're making this for a family, obviously a bigger pan or fry one at a time, two at a time. Never overcrowd your frying pan for this. You can actually go like that, but not more, not more than this. Don't tuck everything in, otherwise you're gonna have like boiled codfish instead of fried codfish. We're gonna let it cook till it's a little bit golden on both sides. Should be about seven to eight minutes on each side, and it's gonna be done. After roughly 12 minutes, the codfish is done. I'm gonna start taking it off. Be careful when you handle it, because codfish flakes, because it's salted. So you have to handle it with a little bit of care. I'm gonna put the skin up, just to keep the crispiness. Oh, by the way, when I added the codfish, I added skin down. I turned it around, of course, to cook on the other side. And then I turned it a little bit just to finish it off with the skin down again, just to add a little bit more of crispiness. There we go. I'm gonna just remove the excess oil and a little bit of paper. Okay, so I drained the potatoes and now we're just gonna deep fry them. Okay, you can do this in a, in a frying pan, doesn't have to, if you don't have a deep fryer, you don't have to do it. We have the equipment, so we're gonna use it. So the oil is around uh, 180 uh, Celsius. Okay. Just gonna put them in and let them fry. So, just gonna display the codfish here. Add a little bit of the mixture of bell peppers and the onions a little bit around. I'm not putting it on top because I wanna keep the crispy skin, okay? So I'm just slightly on top, but just make a little circle with the ingredients. We have our chips, just gonna put them around. Finally, to garnish, I'm using cilantro or coriander, but you can use parsley for those who don't like the taste of cilantro. Just gonna garnish a little bit with this on top. Some black olives to give it an extra color. And there you go, Mignota style codfish. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the list of ingredients and the recipe is in the description of the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Compadre Cooking School. And I hope to see you next time for another quick Portuguese recipe.